Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Crusaders career mode. We are still sitting in first, 13 points ahead of second at this stage. So we are sitting very nicely going into these later games. I believe we will be first on the overall table when it comes to those playoff games. But anyway, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We had the return of Sevo Reese last week as well as Will Jordan. So because of that, we are now back to a full strength squad. So hopefully we can use them well against the Stormers team. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the Super Rugby matchup. My comments, man, for this match is Justin Marshall. And Justin, a good contest coming up here. Thanks a lot, Nisbo. Big matchup for sure. It's an expectant atmosphere here. The crowd ready to see this one get started. Right, we've actually got a day game in this match. We are going with exactly the same lineup as we had last time. It did work very well, I felt, because we were able to get that win 35 0 over the Panthers. But we are up against a strong Stormer side here. So I know one thing's for sure, we're going to need some points on that board. Severo Reese and Will Jordan, of course, both making their returns from injury last week. And they did look like they were going to continue with the form that they left off when they were injured. We have also got Braden Eno on that bench in the number 23 jersey. That is the only change to the subs. Right, so we'll be their number 10 kicking off in this match. Hopefully we can get some points on the board early. It would be very good to see they have gone short with their kickoff. Trying to retain it, are they? But Joe Moody has done very well and defended their number two in the face. Mitch Drummond now. Fires it out to David Arvelli. Richie Moanga, one more out to Sevi Reese. On his outside was good, Hugh, but he found him on the bounce. So we are getting driven backwards straight away. We have kept that ball. It is white lock at halfback. I was going to kick that if it wasn't. But now we are going to use the backs. Will Jordan passes to Richie Moanga with a short pass. It's not the best offload. And because of it, Duplessis is going to have a run. But Will Jordan makes the tackle. And Romano almost able to rip that one away. But Yanchis now passes to their number three. The Stormers have got us under pressure straight away in this match. Which isn't what we like to see. Joe Moody though ripping that ball straight back. Goes out to Sevi Reese on the wing. Has he got enough speed? Of course he does. He's Sevi Reese. And he is going to make it to the line now and make the score in this match. More than likely 7 0. Because he put it down right between the posts. But Sevi Reese, he's only been back for the last match. This is his second match back. And he has already got three tries so far. So it is good to see that he is going to once again be that try scoring machine that we all know him as from pre-season but look at that run he's just too quick Sevi Reese. it was the ball that was stolen by Joe Moody that set up that situation so well done to him as well and there's a shot at goal to come. Richie Moanga now with the nice easy kick should be able to get this one no problem you won't have a lot on it Richie Moanga I didn't get the most of that but it is still straight down the middle nonetheless so the score is now 7-0 to the Crusaders after 10 minutes and we've probably done quite well there because the Stormers, other than that little break for us, had us under insane amounts of pressure. But we managed to defend it. And because of it, we were able to get the points on the board. Mitch Drummond takes that one. Is tackled by their number five. More than likely, that is going to be the Stormers' ball. No, we've somehow kept that one. I think I'm just going to kick this as Fetu Douglas. Hopefully it doesn't find touch. He has tried to hook it right round. And tell you what, that's a good kick. And I am very glad that I aimed way out to the right because that didn't go anywhere near the circle for Fedu Douglas. But in the end, it actually turned out to be a very good kick. And now we have got the Stormers under pressure. They are going to the middle and unfortunately we haven't quite lined that one up. So it will be their ball. And he has kicked it straight back downfield, Junchies. It's a great kick. George Bridge has claimed that one. Has passed it out to Sevi Reese. And we've got numbers on the outside. It's gone to Richie Moanga. He's got a man. Oh, he's been clotheslined though. Richie Moanga. And because of it now. Oh. It is going to be in our own half. And I did say by the end of the season. I wanted to get one kick from inside our own half. But that's a tough kick for Richie Moanga. I'm going to try it though. It's going to be risky. It looks like he's taken it back a few more metres as well. Because it's on the angle. It's got to be a 50-something metre kick, that's for sure. If not, closer to 60. Right, the wind's slightly behind us. Here it goes for Richie Moanga. Nowhere near it. Not even close. Might make it to the 22. But unfortunately has not gone over. I should have kicked for the corner there. But I just got a little bit too excited. And because of it now we are getting forced back by the Stormers. Will Jordan has taken that one well. He's put it high. Oh, he's been tackled very late though. So because of it, he isn't going to be able to chase it. 
It's a good tackle from Seve Riso. Whitelock tries to steal that one. Hopefully those three points that I tried to take won't cost us in this match. And it is ripped straight back by the Stormers now. Good tackle from Tom Christie there. On the Stormers player, Janchi's around the side of the ruck. It's tackled by Harvelli. But the forward's just a little bit too slow to get that ball. Henriquez tries to make the tackle but unfortunately missed it. That is a good run from Khaleesi there. But Joe Moody once again ripping the ball away. Gives it off to Severi Reis. Harvelli now with the inside ball to Sam Whitelock. It did look a bit rough but it almost worked out for the Crusaders. Hopefully this move will Joe Moody. Goes out to Jack Goodhue, one more, fires it out to George Bridge on the wing and he does the step, George Bridge, and he's still going. And he stepped again, a double step and George Bridge has scored the try for the Crusaders. And what a try it is, a solo try for George Bridge. It was a great pass that found him and then he double stepped. Not just getting around one player, but two of them. Mitch Drummond, Joe Moody, out to Goodhue, that's a great pass to George Bridge and he had a lot of work to do steps around the fullback then he steps Yanchis and then he scores the try George Bridge so at the moment it's looking like we're going to have throwbacks to pre-season how it was always Reese got one then Bridge got one Reese got one then Bridge got one and I'm not going to be complaining one bit about that although I might complain about this kick because Richie Moanga has actually missed that one not my best kick at all so at the moment Richie Moanga is only one from three and those odds aren't great, but hopefully we can improve it. So the way that we can improve it, though, is getting in more kicks. So we've got to score some more tries. That is going to be the goal for this match now. Whitelock takes that one well, but it's tackled by their number 12. Are they going to rip it away? Yes, they have straight away. The Stormers once again, and they've got numbers on the outside. And they are going for the drive now, but Severis just held it with about four Stormers players trying to drive, but he stood his ground, Severi Reese. And because of it, they didn't make any metres. The Stormers now, Yanchi's round the side going for another drive. That one's not happening for them either. Oh, that's an inside ball. That's a decent one. I thought for a second they were going to go for the third drive. Cody Taylor rips that ball away. Fedu Douglas now out to Whitelock. Fires it out to George Bridge, who's tried to step. Offloads to Goodhue, but it was forward. Unfortunately, George Bridge not able to sidestep that time. I tried a cheeky wee offload and it didn't really pay off. But hopefully we will be able to win the scrum back. We haven't won a scrum against the feed in a long time. And that isn't going to change anytime soon. Mitch Drummond with the tackle. No, he's missed it, but David Harvelli has made it. And the Stormers still have us under a lot of pressure, but that's a great tackle on Khaleesi. Tom Christie rips the ball away. Cody Taylor now to Goodhue. Everyone's facing backwards, but somehow we have started a backline movement. And now Richie Moaga, has he got enough speed to make it to the try line? He's trying his best. He's got to get cut off by the number 14, is he? No. Richie Moaga able to score. And he has made it a nice, easy kick for himself as well, Richie Moaga. And tell you what, that was one of the roughest looking back lines I have seen in a while. And it actually led to the try. Look at this, everyone facing backwards except for Severi Reese, who did the perfect pass to Moanga. Opened up a whole heap of space and Richie Moanga was quick enough to get to that try line. And now he has got a kick to make. Conversions don't come much easier than this. And I believe he has got that one, Richie Moanga. Straight down the middle. So now the score going into halftime will be 19-0 to the Crusaders. And once again, you'd say the Stormers, they haven't played that badly. It's just the fact that we have taken our chances that has led to points on the board. Pretty close in possession. Territory, 89% to them. Tackles very even as well. Handling error, 7-0. We will have to work on that once again. I say it every time, but it never quite happens. But luckily, we do still have the ability to put points on the board even when we are having a lot of shocking handling errors. But we will hopefully fix that in the second half. We will have to wait and see, though. And it is Richie Moanga kicking off for the second half. I'm going with my normal tactic. I don't really mix up the kicks much now that I think about it. It's always just that straight down the middle. But it does work quite well. You can force them right back, put them under a lot of pressure early on. It's a good run from Khaleesi and now we're under a little bit of pressure ourselves but good tackle. Oh and he's injured. Peterson is going to have to come off the field. That's a big hit for them because he was one of those players that looked like he was going to be quick enough to possibly cut off someone on a runaway for the try line. They have got the scrum now, the Stormers. That will benefit them. They may look at going for a set play perhaps. And that's one thing I've never seen the computer 
do a cross kick and I feel like it's just not in their arsenal. They are going for the set play that has the cross kick but once again we aren't going to see one. That'll surprise me one day when someone actually does go for it. They'll probably score off it as well. But for now, they are sticking with the other way and they have been forced into touch. So we have now got a line out in a very good position. That's not straight, unfortunately. My timing for those today has been terrible. Same with the kick. Something about the one that goes back and forth just isn't quite working at the moment for me. But because of it now, the Stormers will once again get a scrum, I would assume. Yes, they will. Are they going to go for a cross kick this time, perhaps? Although it probably isn't really the best place to do it, to be fair. Only about 10 metres out from your line. They are going for a set play once again, though. They have fired it wide. And that is a good kick for touch. So because of it now, we will once again have a line out. And if I can't get my timing, we could be in a little bit of trouble here. We'll just slowly keep getting forced further and further down the field. That one's on their side, so I have a feeling we might lose this one as well. But Romano jumped very early and because of it we have managed to retain it. Richie Moanga now back to David Arvili. Good you. It's a short pass and it doesn't find Will Jordan. But Matt Todd is going to surely take that one straight back. No he hasn't. And the Stormers have still got that ball. John Cheese has been hit hard in the tackle by Drummond. He's a tackling machine at the moment. Mitch Drummond. And Matt Todd rips that one away. Cody Taylor now out to Henriquez. And it is Harvelli who fires it out to Goodhue on the wing. He's going to do the little grubber in behind. George Bridges chasing hard. The Stormers are under a huge amount of pressure. That's a great tackle from George Bridges as well. Rips the ball away. But he's offside. He was offside, but only just. Was he? <laughs> I haven't seen that happen before. But I guess George Bridge was offside. So we are going to have a kick for touch for the Stormers. Interesting call. I'd like to possibly look at it again, perhaps. We will have a quick look, though. So we have got Jack Goodhue here. He makes the grubber there. And in that situation, we can see that there is 10 metres between him and George Bridge. But George Bridge was in front of the kicker. He was in an offside position. And because of it, it was a penalty, apparently. But we will roll with it. We'll just let it happen. And actually, now that I think about it, we will make our subs as well. While we have this stoppage in play. Right, so it will be a line out for the Stormers here. A little bit of a gift getting that penalty, but it has given us a chance to make our subs. Haveli off for Crotty, and also Tom Christie is off for Blackadder. And Cody Taylor off for Makaleo. I believe I only made the three. Yes, I did. And they are going to win this line out as well, the Stormers. So they might get a decent attacking chance here. And they are going for the drive once again. That seems to be one of the keys of their game at the moment, but we have shut it down every time so far. That's a good wide ball, Will Jordan with the steal! And he is going to have to fend one off. Will Jordan is a couple metres short of the line. No one is getting in there for the Crusaders and the ball's being ripped away. But what a steal from Will Jordan, we've taken that ball back. Matt Todd, oh, it was going to Henriquez. And we have still got to get him a try before the end of the season. That is the goal. That's a few good hits on him. But they have still got the ball now, the Stormers. They were under a lot of pressure there, though. Enriquez tries to make the tackle, misses it. But because of it, it is a forward pass. Well, that was a hectic couple of minutes of rugby there. We have now got this ball. Do we go for a set play? Tell you what, I'm going to try something else. Douglas off the back goes to Drummond. Quick hands out to Sevi Reese, who steps on the inside. It's a specialty of Sevi Reese, and we score the try, and that is the bonus point once again for the Crusaders. Two matches in a row now that we have managed to get that. And Sevi Reese getting his second of the match now. Did look like it was well and truly set to go off the back with the number eight, Fedu Douglas. Then passes it to Mitch Drummond. Quick hands out to Sevu Reese, who steps on the inside just to make matters worse for the Stormers defence. And he has scored the try. Now Richie Moanga with this kick. And I've got my timing wrong again. Is this one going to miss as well? No, luckily it has gone straight down the middle still. But the score is now 26-0 to the Crusaders. We are picking up momentum going closer and closer to those finals games. It is their number 10 for the Stormers kicking off once again. I've done a weird loop, and because of it, I have missed the ball, but Whitelock takes that one very well. And that's got to be the Stormers, does it? No, we have still got that ball. 
Go Romano. He goes out to George Bridge, who's ankle tapped and wasn't able to find the offload to Richie Moanga on his outside. Ryan Crotty now to Whitelock. Fires it wide to Goodhue. One more to Will Jordan. Quick hands out to Sevi Reese. But he is tackled and isolated. We have managed to still keep that ball. Mitch Drummond now around the side. Goes to Whitelock. Fires a floaty pass, George Bridge, Ryan Crotty to Richie Moanga. Once again, the back line just is facing backwards, so it makes it very difficult to get anything going. George Bridge now passes it out to Mitchell Drummond. Goes to Severis, but great defence from the Stormers. And I have a feeling soon we may just have to kick this. Joe Moody would love to have a go around the side, and he tries to fend off Junchies, but he is dragged down. I'm going to kick this ball. We just weren't really going anywhere in that situation. That's a great kick from Mitch Drummond. More than likely the Stormers, are they going to kick this one? They were going to try, and because of it we have now got a scrum in a very good position on the field for the Crusaders. It is now 80 minutes. We've got the scrum. If we can win this, oh that's a great push from the Crusaders. And I'm going to try something. Once again, I love trying at the cross kick. It's become a bit of a staple of this season. Richie Moanga does the kick. Has it found George Bridge? Yes, it is. And it is a cross kick try for the Crusaders. George Bridge scores it. It looked a bit too easy. They weren't really marking it. Mainly because maybe they don't know it exists because they never do it. The computer teams. We were able to win that scrum. And because of it, Mitch Drummond then fires the ball back to Richie Moanga, who puts it on the cross kick. And George Bridge able to jump up, get that ball and put it down and score his second try of the match once again. Richie Moanga now with this kick. Hopefully I can get this one right. Yes, I have. And now at full time, it is going to be 33-0 to the Crusaders. And another very good performance from the boys. Hopefully we can keep that going as we go into those playoff games. But nonetheless... Great win for the Crusaders. We scored five tries. Richie Moanga won. George Bridge two and Severis two. And Richie Moanga kicking four from six in the end. So not his best day, but not too bad either at the end. Possession was in our favour territory in there. So we made less tackles, line breaks. We had seven of them to then none. So we defended very well. Didn't give them a chance to make anything happen for the Stormers. And handling errors, I said it had to get better. We only had one in that second half. And that was why we were starting to tick up the tries and tick up the points a lot more often. But good win for the Crusaders. Right, so from that I see the Hurricanes have actually dropped to third. The Blues on 38, and of course we are in first on 52, having a very good season, only losing the one game so far. And hopefully we only lose one for the whole season. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.